Hello, this is lesson three from 10.03, higher. To know how to calculate the gradient and the y-intercept from a, an equation. Pause the video whilst you have a go at this retrieval practice. Okay, so the highest common factor is 15, uh, B30, 9M plus 5, 147, counts as 4, and the last one, 24. Well done. Let's go on to the lesson then. So we've been asked to write down the gradient, the y-intercept of each of these lines. Now, previously in class, what we have done is we've talked about y equals mx plus c. And the coefficient in front of x, the number in front of x, would be the gradient. So the gradient on the I do is 9, because the 9 is in front of the x, is the coefficient of x. The intercept where it crosses the y-axis is going to be at plus 2 fifths. y equals mx plus c. c is the constant 2 fifths. So the gradient is the coefficient of x and the y-intercept is the constant. If there is no visible constant, then the y-intercept is always equal to zero. Pause the video while you have a go at the we do. OK, so you should have the coefficient of x is 11, the gradient is 11, and the y-intercept, the constant, is 3 fifths. Let's have a go at another one. Right, so the coefficient of x is minus 2 fifths, and the gradient, which is the gradient of minus 2 fifths, and the y-intercept, the constant, is plus 9, positive 9. So the constant is 9, the y-intercept is 9. Pause the video while you have a go at the we do. That's correct. The gradient is minus 3 fifths, and the y-intercept, the constant, is 11. Let's have a go at another. So we want the gradient and the y-intercept of these ones. So y equals minus x over 5 minus 9. That's like saying minus 1x over 5. So that's going to be minus a fifth. Because it's always a, it's like an invisible one bit in front of the x. The coefficient is an invisible one. So the gradient is minus one fifth. The y-intercept, therefore, the constant is negative nine. Pause the video while you have a go at the we do. That's correct. The gradient is going to be minus a third, and the y-intercept is going to be minus eleven. Let's go for another one then. So y equals minus x minus 9. So it's like an invisible 1 in front of the x. So the coefficient is minus 1, negative 1. And the y-intercept is negative 9. Pause the video while you have a go at the we do. y equals negative x, subtract 3. Well done. So the gradient is minus 1 and the y-intercept is minus 3. Finally, let's have a go at example five, y equals x. So the gradient is one, because there's one in front of the x. So the coefficient is one. If there is no visible constant, then the y-intercept is always equal to zero. Pause the video while you have a go of y equals negative x. Well done, the gradient is negative one, and the y-intercept, because there's no visible constant, the y-intercept is equal to zero. Let's have a go at these questions then. Pause the video for 10 minutes whilst you work out the gradient and the y-intercept of these lines. Well done. This completes lesson three of 10.03 gradient and y-intercept.